Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Elderberry Syrup, and this is my Let's Play series of Dire Wolf 20 for 119. We just left off uh, baking some slurry, but first, let me wish you all a very happy new year. Uh, just had our fireworks show a few hours ago. It was wonderful. And let me tell you, I'm excited to start this new year. Uh, as some of you may know, we have a Direwolf 20 SMP server going as well on uh, being hosted on Creeper Host uh, by myself with a few other people. So if you would like to see a multiplayer server being played on Direwolf 20, please stop by and check that out on my Twitch. All right, so we left off with a slurry. All right, so now we have to make this slurry. Now, the why are we out of acid? Water vapor goes in there. What's going in there? Uh, should be this, which should be getting chemical oxidizer. So what did we have in the chemical oxidizer? I'm gonna have to go backwards now. Uh, sulfuric acid. Right, that's what we're out of. Yep. Sulfuric acid. It's been a few days since I did the last recording. Uh, sulfur dioxide. So we need sulfur dust. That's what we have not. Oh, wrong. Yeah, we have to get more sulfur dust. And how are we getting that from? We're going to have to do another machine so that we can get more sulfur. But we'll do that after we get the rest of this process set up. Uh, so, yeah, so that's building back up, and that's wonderful. Let me add that to my anchor right quick because those noises were not recent when I was starting that up. Okay, so from the slurry, we're going to turn the slurry into a clean iron slurry. Uh, we're going to do that with water and the dirty slurry in a chemical washer. So let's go ahead and get us a chemical washer. Open up the grid here. Get that stuff auto created. Beautiful. Let's uh, go ahead and add those to the anchor as well. Um, I don't want everything because that's a lot of stuff okay um so we have the stuff we need to make that now so we'll bring that over plop it down here and we'll say slurry input on the right and then on this one slurries output on the left there we go. So we have our dirty iron slurry and now we need to get some water up here. So we'll just grab a connection off of this pipe here and place it down below. I believe these are power up top, right? On the down energy, yeah. So we could put the water down here. We'll, we'll drop down one though, cause it'll just look better. There we go. Grab our configurator, set this for output. And there we go. And not enough energy, of course, we do need another here. And on the down, energy, input. Then we'll link those two up, or link them up. There we go, now we're getting our clean iron slurry. From our clean iron slurry, it needs to go into a chemical crystallizer. Chemical crystallizer, auto craft. Almost there. There we go. We'll take that and we'll place it right here. And we'll go, we want slurries input on this side and this one on slurries we will output. There we go. Grab us some more of the laser nodes on the down energy and link 
up. There we go. And that's all that takes. And from there, we should get a crystal, I believe. Right? Yes, the iron crystal. So the crystal then needs to go into a chemical injection. There we go. Oh, chemical injector. Auto craft all those because that is the only way to do mechanism uh, <laughs> is with some auto craft. It's not the only way. It's the only way I like to do it. So we have our chemical injector. We'll place that down here and we'll say on the right uh item input and this one on the back item output eject on yeah item output eject on there it goes now inside of this because we have that crystal that crystal requires some hydrogen chloride so let's get that going we need hydrogen and chlorine Okay, and chlorine is made with brine and sodium. Oh boy. So brine, we get that, I believe, from our, oh, salt can do it. I thought we get brine from... The uh, what's that machine called? Or it's a it's a multi block at mechanism. It is a multi block. This right here, shift in. Oop. Let's click over here right quick. The yeah. Uh. Da, da, da. Is that not what these make? Yeah, it makes brine. And lithium. Okay, so yeah, it makes brine from water. Or any liquid, really. Okay, I think that's the way we're going to go. So let's hop back over to our base right quick. Or our hut, as it really is. And get some of these things on auto craft. Doo, 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 doo. There we go. Perfect. Uh, throw them in here with the rest of that mechanism stuff. And we will look at evaporator. Let's just make two stacks of that because we're going to want a couple of those. And these will need about four or five. And then we'll need two of these. Uh, let's go ahead and look at our solar. So we're going to need these and these to be automated. So everything there should be good. So that should be good, which will make that good. And we'll, we'll verify that in just a second. So if I say I want eight of these, oop, oop. Yes, beautiful. Okay. Um, and I don't believe these stack, so we're going to just leave them in the system for now. Let's sleep through this night right quick. All right. And we'll hop back up to our mechanism. And we have flight. Yeah. Okay. And we'll throw these things up here. So, um, evaporator. Yes. Grab those. And I believe these are a four by four structure. One, two, three. It's either four by four or three by three. Um, I just know that it's uneven because it's one of those things I don't really care for too much. Uh, and we'll put uh, one of these here. Is that right? Oop. I thought it was an uneven thing. Maybe not. Uh, 
do, 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 do. Uh, so on our SMP, we did add uh, FTB Altamine as well as our uh, um, villagers, easy villagers. I guess that's not correct. How do we do the evaporator? Shift in. Acting as a master block of the structure, only one of these should be placed. Right, but what is the build style of it? Doesn't mechanism have a book or something along those lines? Um, one second. It is indeed four by four. Oop. We need to remove these two. I don't, I didn't find a book, but it is four by four and it does require blocks to be above here. And that was my, that was the problem there. So actually we just want one here and one here. Now let's pick that up. The max height for this is 18. So right now we're at one, two, three. Let's grab our building gadget. And we will set this to a range. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I, I thought we needed more than that. Let's do it. Just make a whole bunch. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and then 18, but on the corners, oh, it didn't, uh, oh yeah, it did. It doesn't look like it's formed, does it? Yep, it's formed. On the corners here, we take out and then we will add those solars that we, we need four of them. We place these solars here. Doo -doo -doo. They don't stack and it's not recognized as the same because we have wireless charging going. There we go. And you can see that this is building up because we have that solar up there. So these work off of heat. Those did not place down properly. I do not like that. Do we not have a magnet? Where's my magnet? I thought we had a ring. We do. Come back up here. Let's try to get these to place properly. There we go. There we go. All right, so the heat is now going. So let's get a sink. Uh, because we like our... Uh, fast stuff right we like things to be fast around here and we can put a laser here and on the down flood extract with we need a uh, laser we need some overclocks down extract we want to extract as control shift click why i don't know why it wasn't working properly and on the west side, flood, 
insert. Oop. So now we should be able to see, yes, we have water and look how fast it made that brine. Oh, so fast. So let's go ahead and we'll do this with another eject here, do a laser. And on the west, we're gonna go flood extract overclocked. And we're going to put this on channel orange or yellow. Yellow will work. Close enough, right? Yeah, it's actually perfect. And let's see if we can't get this to link up down there. We'll go like this right here. And directly underneath that, we'll go like this. And then we'll go, these can only go eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then should be able to go right there. Oh, nope. There we go. We'll bring it over here. This is what needs the, well, another machine needs the brine, right? Uh, chlorine is brine with, uh, no, that's not, uh-oh, uh, horrible memory here. Okay. So iron crystals need hydrogen chloride or hydrogen chlorine chloride, which is chlorine which is oh, this is the separator. Yeah, okay. An electrolytic separator from brine. So let's get the separator. But do we not have those auto crafted? Oh, that's not fun. Uh, we need, oh, this is that, which is those three so iron dust we're going to put into a enricher osmium enrichment chamber and gold from an enrichment chamber like such this one goes here Oop. And our enrichment chamber, this one. Now let's see. So if we want this, there we go. So we take the electric electrolytic separator and we place it. So that's gonna make the brine into Chlorine, right? Chlorine and sodium. So we'll set it here. Um, we will say on the right gases, we want the, oh, wrong crystal. I'm, I'm messing this up. We have the crystal. Needs to get hydrogen chloride, which is chlorine and hydrogen. So we don't want this right here. We're gonna move it over here. So the brine is gonna go into here. So on the down flood 
insert on the yellow and we need to get that hooked up so here to there is that eight that's good and then from here that's not gonna that's gonna be too oh it's not too far beautiful so on the up will be input floods not gases Oh, okay. Uh, did this one not connect up top? There we go. It did not. Should have. Yes, brine. And so on the down, we will do energy insert. And connect that to that there we go and chlorine we are going to eject to the right output two it's the till right yeah yes cyan the chlo uh hydrogen chloride is chlorine and hydrogen in a chemical infuser so we need a chemical infuser. Do we already have that here? No. So chemical infuser. There we go. Plop that down there. It's already got its chlorine. Now we need it to have the high hydrogen as well. Now over here, don't we have an electrolytic separator that's doing something like that? Oxygen and hydrogen. So hydrogen, we need to output one is blue. Oh, no, it's gases, which is coming out the right side. So we're, we'll put a on the down. Oh, I don't think we can do gases from that. So let's get at mech uh, ultimate. And we need not cable pipe. We need the pressurized tube which we didn't automate yet. I'm gonna automate that, we'll be right back. All right, got that automated. Uh, mechanism, all these machines, they make so much noise. Oh, I missed something. Okay, so we're gonna get those tubes. Uh, tube, ultimate, we don't need more than eight right now. There we go. Set that there. Uh, ooh. We don't want it doing anything there. Hopefully, okay, good. And up and over. This is gonna be a little bit janky here. And then on the front, gases, input. There we go. Another laser. On the down, energy, insert. Oh, and link. There we go, hydrogen chloride, and that's what this needs. So on the back, gases will be output. All right, uh, did, was that on auto? Yes, and then on the front, gases, input. That's what you needed, didn't it? Hydrogen chloride. Iron crystal. Hydrogen chloride, oh, and salt. 
Do we have salt? Is it and salt or salt just does it? Yeah, salt just does it. So on the back, gases, input. The back, gases, output. Hmm. Oh, ha. Ah. Did you see that? Gases is should be input only. But now I have hydrogen chloride in here. So let's grab a tank right quick to empty that out. We'll go, it needs to be a chemical tank. Do that. There we go. Wrench. And then now that should be going in there. Yep. No. Why not? Let, oh, because it's full. So another laser for power. Down. Energy. Insert. And link. There we go. The problem is I've got that fully trapped in there now. So on the up items output eject on on the down items uh, we'll go blue extract overclock and then we have in here iron shards iron shards will be in a purification chamber Uh, right. Yep. Start. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. We'll take that. We will place it. Well, let's just place it here. This doesn't have anything going to the right. Except for gases. We don't need that. So this will just do this all right now we have that items oh no nope. here we have the items why is that not ejecting to there where did it go now we're on items we don't need items ejecting We don't need anything to do with items. Gases is input put on the front. Chlorine. Oh. This needs hydrogen. More hydrogen. Dumping excess. Um, what's going on here? So that's making hydrogen, which is what should be in, oh, on the front, gases, input to, that's what was wrong. Okay. Hydrogen chloride is now being made. It's going in there. Okay. So we're good. We're good. We got it now. <laughs> All right. Oh man. Wow. All right. We're getting close to the end of the episode. So we're all, but we're almost done here. So we now have iron shards. The iron shards need to be put into a purification chamber with oxygen. So we'll put this here on the down. We need item insert on the, we said orange, right? Is that what we did over here? Down, no, it's the blue. Down. There we go. And link those up on the top items input. There we go. And now we need oxygen. Uh, oxygen is right here. So let's do another pipe. Oop. Oh no. Uh, 
going to have to uh, use my tank here again. Or another tank. Let's see. Any of those oxygen? Nope. Just throw that up there. There we go. Oxygen's in there now. Plop these up here just to get out of the way. A... Uh, not pipe, cable. We need more of the tube. Uh, we probably need more than that, though. Okay. So the best thing we could do here is we'll plop it there. I should have... Oh, nothing? Uh, front output one. Nope, output two. Oh, that's item. Gases. Output two. So it's going to hook up to here for now. Uh, we need to disconnect everything. Uh, disconnect from there. Disconnect from there. So right now, oxygen's here. And okay, so we're good there. Bring this over. And we need one more. I knew we'd need more than that. And here on the right, gas is input. Now we just need power, which means we need to go laser. And grab a few more of these. On the down, input energy. There we go. And that's going to give us a clump. Sorry, it's a little bit of a long episode today, but I want to finish this so we can get on to some good stuff. The clump then goes into a crusher. So at the front here, items, output, we're going to put a crusher. And here we go. Start. We're going to need two buckets of lava. Do I'll be right back. You know, I can't believe I haven't set up automated lava yet. We'll probably do that soon. All right, got our crusher. Let's uh get up here. We said on the front, so on the back, item input. On the front, item output, eject on. Front, item output, eject on. Crush. Okay, there we go. Laser. Down. Energy. Link. And then from there, we're going to get dirty osmium dust. Which needs to go into an enrichment chamber to become osmium dust. So, enrichment chamber. Enrichment chamber. Good. So we'll plop that here. Set this items input on the right. Items output on the left. There we go. And down energy link. And from there, we get the osmium dust which is going to go into an energized smelter. So, uh, at mech smelter, we already have set. Done. So on the right, item input. On the left, item output, eject on. Beautiful. Laser, down, energy, link and that's going to smelt it up so on the left output yeah and then uh, output eject on and get an inner chest there we go 
and it should. See, we have iron ingots in there, puts them into our system just like that. And that is ore multiplication. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have completed the ore multiplication. So all I have to do now is hook up to our system anything that we want to be multiplied to export to here which we can do uh we'll do that at the very beginning of the next episode and then we'll move on to something else until then this is elderberry syrup wishing you a wonderful new year take care everybody